This is Win News. Tonight, roads and power cut as wild weather batters the coast. Several hinterland towns inundated. And Gimpy prepares for the Mary to rise. Good evening, thanks for watching. Wild weather continues to batter the Sunshine Coast as a trough from tropical cyclone Marsha moves southwards. The region received some of the heaviest falls in the state, shutting more than 60 roads and causing widespread flooding. Long delays are expected on the Bruce Highway southbound with water over the road at Caboolture. Sarah Sinclair begins our team coverage. Floodwaters rising rapidly in Rudgerham. This amateur vision capturing water rushing down Stringybark Road near Matthew Flinders College. It was one of dozens of schools shut down today after the intense drenching. We are really at the beginning of what is a major event, so people need to be um, constantly thinking about how do they protect themselves and their families going forward. Water started covering Bradman Avenue early. By this afternoon, it was right over the busy strip. Most homes prepared for this downpour, but sandbags can only do so much. We're a bit worried about tonight with the high tide and, and whatever more rain's coming. The flooded forget it message seems to be falling on deaf ears. Motorists barreled through tidal waters oblivious to the damaging effects. When the water comes up too high, you know, you get the wave of it all the time, you know, that's the worst of it. It was the same story at Cotton Tree and in areas around Nambour, including the low-lying Hunchy Road. It only took a matter of minutes before water started flooding under this rail bridge at Palmwoods at around 11 o'clock this morning. Authorities are warning that with the torrential rain forecast to continue tonight and through tomorrow, people should try to avoid driving altogether. We are again frustrated at the actions of some motorists choosing to drive around road signage and into flooded um, waterways. All the region's beaches are closed as swells and dangerous conditions intensify. It's crazy. I can't believe there's just no sand left. We um, just moved up here and never seen nothing like this before. Warnings are still in place for daily falls of around 300 millimetres, flash flooding and destructive winds. Residents are urged to stay indoors and remain vigilant over the next 48 hours. Sarah Sinclair, Win News. In the Sunshine Coast hinterland, several communities are close to being isolated by rising floodwaters. Some areas have received more than 200 millimetres of rain in the last 24 hours. Residents in the hinterland knew what they were in for. Because we knew we were going to get stuck. Farmer Nathan Brown left his car behind when he went to check his work this morning. But not everyone was so forward thinking. This sunken ute was barely visible off the Yandina Coulom Road. Others took their chances against warnings at Yamundi Noosa Road. I've seen a lot of road tra traffic uh, crashes in the early hours of the morning, usually single vehicles, aquaplaning, so if you don't need to be on the road, stay off them. And it wasn't long until parts of towns were inundated. Pomona's parks were turned into fast-flowing rivers. Some residents recorded more than 200 millimetres in the last 24 hours. This rail undercrossing was more than a metre and a half underwater. Parts of BOR2 submerged. In Kenilworth, the water treatment plant is offline. Kenilworth will be living on uh, their two water reservoirs for the next few days. So they have about four days worth of uh, supply in there for the community. Up at Mullaney Dairies, a newborn calf was named Marsha after the system tracking south. But it wasn't long before cattle had to be moved to higher ground. <laughs> All the water making for a spectacular sight at Whopper Dam. The local disaster management group says it'll continue to monitor the amount of spill from the dam, which could cause flooding further downstream. Thousands of litres spilling over the causeway. It's pretty impressive, yeah, very much so. Shelley Doyle, Wind News. Now to Gympie, where residents are bracing for large downfalls of rain in surrounding regions to flood the Mary. Businesses in Mary Street are preparing to evacuate, but disaster management teams are urging those outside the flood zone not to forget there is a severe storm on the way. There were glimpses of sun in Gympie on a dark day for Queensland, but the worst for the flood-prone town is yet to come. 
The Mary River is rising and it's unclear when residents will know if they're in real danger of going under. There is a lot of uncertainty around this one. Rain from Kenilworth and Mullaney is funnelling into the Mary River and by Sunday the flow on effects should be known. But Mary Street operators aren't taking any chances. They're getting ready to evacuate. This is going to be my first flood. There are no preventative measures here. The rule is simply to get to higher ground. A whole heap of store is all set up here. We've already got our phone calls, our shipping containers, everything like that on standby. I'm wasting my time with sandbags. Many learned that the hard way. That's our first flood that we were here for was the 27th of the first. And then our second one was down here. Leslie Mitchell from Billy's Hotel has been through three floods in two years and was uninsured for all. She doesn't want to make that fall. Looking that Mother Nature might have a bit of sympathy in Gympie because Gympie doesn't need it. While some businesses aren't bothering with sandbagging, residents across the Gympie region are. Seven tonnes of sand was dumped at this depot this morning and by tonight it's likely it'll be gone. Some are sceptical Marsha will even affect the region. There's not a lot of rain in it. But disaster management teams are reiterating it's not just a flood we're faced with but an an incredibly powerful storm. We are full, fully prepared for a variety of events. What they will be, we're not sure about. It was a baptism of water for new mayor Mick Curran, who has confidence in his team to pull the region through. Polls declared yesterday afternoon, um, and we're walking straight into this. So, but we're well prepared, and um, you know, we will come out the other end of it. Georgie Chumley, Win News. More than 9,000 homes lost power on the Sunshine Coast today. The most affected areas for power outages were in North Mullaney, Little Mountain, Caloundra and Beewa. As of five this afternoon, there were one, uh, still some residents without power. We may well have uh, some significant uh, wind and rain yet to come. We certainly are planning for that. Uh, if that does come, certainly we, I think we could see some widespread power outages. Enerjax has increased standby crews as well as staff during the weather event. They're urging anyone who sees power lines damaged or brought down to call them immediately.